Hello everybody, this is Boaz Father and I'm here with the weekly evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 18th and the 25th of March 2017. So this is a very turbulent month, as we said before, there's a very turbulent energies in the sky and it could be very energy consuming, it could be exhausting. It could be a time that we really need to look at our energy reserves and make sure that uh, we are guarding ourselves, that we're eating enough, that we're sleeping enough, that we're drinking enough water, that we are treating the temple in which we are leaving in respectfully. So, talking about the 18th and the 19th, we have Mercury going over Venus, which is in retrograde. They are crossing lanes. And as you know, Mercury is the planet of communication, is the planet of thoughts and words and verbal, uh, verbal use. And, and Venus is the planet of relationships and love and satisfaction that we get through our interaction with other people, with society around us. So everything concerning income and food and drink and the five senses. And when these two planets pass each other, that's really a great opportunity for us to bring up to the table everything we need to talk about regarding relationships, income, love, satisfaction within our own lives. How do we, how do I, it's an Aries, how do I bring more satisfaction into my life? So it's a great time to think about it. It's a great time to materialize it in our brains and it's a great time to talk about it with our loves or with our friends. Saying that, the 19th and the 20th are days that the Moon is in contact with Saturn. Days like that are important days to be warmer, kinder, not as judgmental towards ourselves and towards others in our lives. So make it a point to be kinder to yourselves and to others around you during these days. And why is that important? Because right afterwards on the 21st, 22nd and 23rd, the moon is in contact with Mars and Pluto. And these are overly dramatic days. These are days that we can get caught up in emotion and go into conflicts that are not really necessary. So being kinder and nicer during these two days can help us actually be more logical and more settled down and more cerebral in the next three days. The 20th is the equinox, the, the spring equinox, such an important time. In ancient cultures, it would be one of the most important times in the year. It's a time in which the sun and the moon spend equal time in the sky. The sun ri rises at the east sets at the west exactly, spends 12 hours across our skies and daytime and nighttime are equal. From today onwards, we're getting into summer. The days are going to be longer, more light coming our way. And of course, this is the first day of spring. This is when the sun goes into Aries. So happy birthday, all you Aryan people out there. And what does it symbolize? First of all, it symbolizes light. It symbolizes spring. It symbolizes a rejuvenating effect in our lives. It symbolizes the blooming of things that have been sleeping all through winter. And metaphorically speaking, this is a time that a lot of passion comes up in our lives. A lot of enthusiasm comes up in our lives. So enjoy it. Enjoy that fire that is rekindled in our lives. But remember that we need to take that energy and work with it in a responsible, consistent manner because fire consumes very quickly its energy. And when it does, it, it really uh, quenches. What we need to do is take this enthusiasm and take this passion and work with it on it so we can, we can actually achieve things in the long term. So look at the strategic effects 
and utilize the energy that you are experiencing during the next week, during the next two weeks even, to conquer the goals that are a little bit beyond the immediate horizon. So, on the 21st to 23rd, as I said, these are days to be extra careful not to go into con conflicts and fights. And then the 24th and the 25th are days that the ancients uh, would, would say that Venus is in a Kazemi, it's in the heart of the sun, and it is gaining the power of the sun. A lot of the light and the energy is going through Venus and shining forth. So these are important days for us to really materialize in our minds and to think as exactly as we can how we would like our life to be regarding Venusian subjects satisfaction, income, love, relationships, and so on and so forth. Really vision it and materialize it. And as important as this is, is you enjoying yourself during these days and giving thanks, giving thanks for everything you are enjoying. Whether it is the company of your love or company of friends or company of good people around you, food on your table, drink on your table, just the fact that you're alive and able to satisfy your five senses. Why is this thanksgiving and the feeling of being blessed so important? Because during these days, Mercury is going to conjunct Aries and Uranus, opposing Jupiter, squaring Pluto. In simple English, our words, our thoughts, our actions can be too hasty, can be too impatient, can be too grandiose and could really hurt. They could be very powerful, too powerful for us to understand and then we can cause reactions that are an impediment to our um, well-being later on. So, extra um, Place an extra effort to be tactful, to be logical, to be modest, and to watch the words and, the, and, the, and in fact, the thoughts that produce the words and come out to the environment and the decisions you make. Because many times we find that in these kinds of planetary situations, we can speak too fast or we can act too fast, be too hasty, and if we would have thought about it a minute longer, we would have acted differently. So, a lot of thoughts before you speak, a lot of thoughts before you act, and a lot of thanksgiving for everything that we actually have. This is about everything I wanted to tell you about this week. So, of course, for private sessions via Skype, computer, or face-to-face, -face, private lessons, classes, lectures, any question you might have. I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I would love to hear from you. I want to thank you for listening and may we have an amazing week. Goodbye.